Like, look at that immune. Like, what in the world, bro? This is a purple unit. Yo, why more? Hey, what's up, guys? Jake2 here, and welcome back to another Solarite guide. Who would have thought that I'll see you guys here this soon with a Solarite guide, right? And yeah, this is probably the hardest ever Solarite, just simply because it has way too many mechanics and it requires a sniper units, like not just a sniper units, but invested sniper units. And we will talk about all of that like the usual. But before we begin, please, for me, Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell on so you don't miss any Nikkei content or guides that I create. It only takes one click and it's free. It's actually one of the best ways that you can support the channel. So please help me out. Thank you. And without further ado, let's begin. All right. So for this raid, we need two units, one purple unit that can destroy the circles and one sniper unit that can destroy the slippers, the glasses slippers. And yeah, you basically build a team around that. So right now, what we have here is Anise, which is our main damage dealer and the one that will destroy the QTE or the yellow circles. And we have Maxwell, which will be the sniper unit that can destroy or one shot the glasses slippers because one of its annoying mechanics is you have to destroy the glasses slippers with just one hit. Now, the reason why you need to destroy the glasses slippers it's because she will build her defense up to 90% if you don't destroy it. And you can only destroy it with one hit. And then it becomes immune. That's why sniper units are the best for this one. You can try rocket launchers. It works, but it, it's it's scuff. It's hard. You can try though. Maybe it works for you. But for me, I'm going to stick with the sniper rifles. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, team one. So phase one, here's what we do. Phase one is very simple. Right? Um, I'm just gonna manual the sniper unit which is super annoying but it is what it is. So from time to time, uh, she will, the glass mirror will actually, or mirror container, will actually show uh, a glass slipper or summon a glass slipper. You can destroy this with an invested sniper unit or a non-invested sniper unit. But the thing is you need to destroy it with just one shot. So you can only destroy it with a rocket launcher or here, as you can see, I'm destroying it with a sniper rifle because uh, on this raid, rocket launcher works, but sniper rifle is better. So now we're about to enter phase two. The moment you see her doing the volley, that's the sign that it will enter phase two. Now, after the QTE, we're going to enter another QTE. Make sure to take cover before you destroy the QTEs. And now phase two. So phase two, this is the shield phase, basically. So every time right from time to time mirror container will release a glass slippers that's the part where you actually need to destroy it with one shot using an invested sniper unit and you can see it right here it's up there right on the upper left the moment she steps back that's your time that's your cue to actually charge your shot and then shoot it Right here on team 1, I'm not really charging that hard because um, uh, Maxwell has enough damage to actually just destroy it instantly, right? But you, you will see what I mean later on on the other teams. So, you have to make sure that you destroy the glasses slippers if you want to deal more damage. Because if you fail to actually destroy them, the defense will increase. The mirror container's defense will increase up to a whopping 90%. So we're about to enter phase three. So yeah, uh, again, the timing for destroying the glasses slippers is the moment that you see the boss stepping back. The moment it, it goes back, that's the time that you can charge your shot to destroy the slippers. So right here, we're gonna enter a QTE. This QTE is annoying, only an invested um, purple unit can destroy this. So well, at least based on my experience. And what's annoying as well is sometimes it shows immune. I don't understand that. Like you're using a purple unit and it shows immune. Anyway, this phase after phase three is basically just a repeat of phase two. So yeah, just basically destroy the uh, glasses slippers using your sniper unit. So only 10 seconds left. Um, I'm hoping we can reach up uh, 1.350. I think it's doable. 
Okay, here we go. One, three sixty-two. Okay, that's a goal right there. So that's our team one damage check right here. So yeah, there you go. Um, Maxwell is buffing Anise, by the way, and that's why I chose Maxwell on this team because you know, you know, she basically buffs Anise by a lot. Like, look at that damage: seven hundred fifty-seven million. So that's it for team one. Let's go ahead and start with team two. All right, so for team two, we have the bunnies, litter, modernia, and with the new addition of Ein or Ain, however you call it. Let's say it all together. Ein. Ein. So ideally, we would want Anis and Ein to be put on the same team together. That way, Ein's damage will be increased. But the problem here is because we need uh, a purple unit that can actually destroy the QTEs, the circles, and that can also destroy or one shot the glassy slippers. So yeah, we kind of lack that unit here for the bunnies, and that's why we're using Ein. Also, you know, our flexibility is kind of eh because we don't have Killer D. But it's fine, we just have to work with what we got, which is basically what Solar Raid is, working with the characters that you have, or characters you have built. Alright, so phase one, we just have to take cover from this one. And a glassy slipper will show up, destroy it. There you go. And basically deal free damage as we are waiting for uh, another glass slipper. Right there. So yeah, you don't need to full charge for that glassy slipper. You, you can instantly destroy it. As long as you are using a sniper rifle or a rocket launcher. And there you go. We're about to enter phase 2. And that's the signal right there. The rocket volley. Take cover. And destroy the QTEs. And here comes another QTE. Make sure to take cover. And... There we go. On to shield phase. So for the first part, you have free time to actually deal damage. Like mirror container will show like the glassy slippers. And then um, she will retract it and release it one by one. So right here, we just we're just looking for the boss to step back. And that's the time where we can destroy it. Again, here with Ayn, I don't have to full charge because uh, she's invested, right? She can one-shot it without doing a full charge. So, yeah, I, I got some leeway. But technically, you would want to, like, full charge. If you're using, like, um, a non-purple unit, a sniper rifle, non-purple, which is, like, not super invested, you won't want to... You would want to fully charge your... Oh, uh, shot before you actually fire it. So now we're just waiting for um, phase 3. Okay, shoot it instantly. There you go. Goal here is 550 million. Let's see if we can get it. Actually 600, but yeah, 550 is fine. So we're about to enter phase 3, there you go, destroy the QTEs, you see that? Sometimes it goes immune, I don't get, I don't get that, see? Oh my gosh, that is super annoying. So now free damage again, and again this uh, solo rate is very tiring because I have to manual sniper units for the entire 5 teams, which is super annoying, very very annoying. I'll destroy it. Again, uh, this phase is basically a rerun of phase 2 or the shield phase. Oh, I guess our goal is actually 700 million. Let's see. At least 650 maybe? Can we do it? Uh, if we managed to destroy the core, we would have gotten 650, but that's fine. We take those. And yeah, that's the damage chart and let's go to team 3. For team 3, we are running Nagatia alongside Alice and Black Scarlet. You kinda don't wanna separate Alice and Black Scarlet because of the attack speed that Black Scarlet is getting from Alice. Now for this one, Alice is gonna be the one that destroys the Glassy Slipper and Naga is gonna be the one that destroys the QTE. Alright, team 3, let's see it. 
So with this one, I think we have to full charge to actually destroy the glassy slipper because I don't think Alice can, or my Alice can quick destroy it. So let's actually see it. So again, phase one, the glassy slipper here is very like, you can destroy it easily without actually charging your shot. There you go. So this is the first time that I'm actually running Alice and I'm doing manual, like uh, doing the quick shots, which is, uh, I guess, not bad, but hey, it's annoying. If you had to do it five times with your team, like all five teams on solo raid, it's kind of annoying. All right, shield face, let's see it. Okay, the moment it steps back, we have to charge. There we go. Just like that. So, when you need to charge, there will be uh, like a sound cue. Like, you can hear it once uh, the blue liquid thing or white thing fills up the uh, slipper. You hear that? That one. One more, one more. So, the moment the boss steps back, you need to hold your uh, charge. There we go, charge up. Just like that. So goal here is, I think, 500 million, 550. There you go. Now we're going towards phase three, the QTE. And you know what? This QT is very annoying because I have a super invested Naga and as you can see, it shows immune. Like sometimes it shows immune. See? That was very close, bro. That was way too close for comfort. Like, what the heck is going on, man? Like, they need to remove that. W why does that thing happen? It's super annoying, man. Okay, we just hit 500 million, so I think 550 million is doable. Ideally, we want 600, but I don't know. Uh, oh, I missed. Okay, that's fine. 550. And there we go. That's 550 million. Alright, so damage check. Here it is. And that's our team three. Now let's move on to the next one. All right, so we have a classic here, Noise and Sakura for our team four, alongside Rosanna, because you know, for burst two, she increases the damage dealt to the enemy and also increases damage to ports. And now we have Red Hood and Scarlet here. So again, Red Hood is the sniper unit. The purple unit is gonna be Scarlet. Now, granted, this is not Red Hood's best team, but hey, we don't have Killer D, so what can we do, right? But if you do have Killer D, then yeah, you can use Noise and Sakura on team five. I know, I keep saying Killer D. I'm a bit salty. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's get right into it. All right. So for team four, it's very like I don't know, comfy. It's like very uh, comfy simply because you have a healer, right? You have noise, who is a healer and also taunts the enemy. So basically, the missiles will go to her, towards her, right? And uh, the projectiles, like the lasers, will go towards her. Also, I forgot to mention this, like the reason why you want to destroy the glasses slippers, right, on phase one is because if you fail to do so, uh, that slipper will actually deal a huge amount of damage. So yeah, it's very important that we destroy that. And there we go. On to phase two. Now we're gonna use um, Sakura here because I don't... I don't want to use uh, Red Hood while she's in burst doing the QTEs because yeah, she might hit uh, multiple, she might hit the gray circle basically. Alright, free damage time, manual, manual, yeah. 
My hand hurts. Okay, take cover, then shoot. So, with shooting, I forgot to, to mention this. I can't believe that I forgot to mention, to mention this one. But if you're still watching, then good for you, right? Um, before shooting the slippers, you need to take cover. Only the sniper rifle should be hitting the glass slipper. So you have to make sure that you always take cover before you shoot. There we go. Better reload. Okay, I charge up there just to make sure that I could destroy the glass slipper because, you know, if I fail to do so, uh, a mirror container will increase her defense, which is, you know, super annoying. There we go, QTE. This is very easy to destroy with uh, Scarlet. I don't know, for some reason. Mm, Kinda hard with shotgun units, even though they're invested. Like I'm talking about Naga earlier. What what the heck happened there? I have no idea. There we go. So I guess goal here is 500 million, but I don't know, maybe we can't do that. So I guess just 450 would be fine. Can we do it though? Oh, it's gonna be very close. 450? How did I do? Ha ah, dang dude. That, uh, that's fine, that's fine. We're 5 million short. That's fine. Damage check. And there we go. So that's basically it for Team 4. Now we're gonna move towards Team 5, which is uh, uh, Team Ass, I guess. Because it sucks. Alright, so for Team 5, definitely the least team. <laughs> So for this team, this is just basically me slapping DPS, right? Basically characters that has investment like uh, Summer Sakura and Winter Ludmilla. Now Haran, which is like one of my main units for pushing through hard campaigns, which is like very invested unit. She's, this is supposed to be the raid where she shines. I was totally expectant that she would actually one shot the glass slippers. Spoiler alert, she can't. She can't destroy it. Super annoying. It is what it is. Ask Mary for healing. Summer Helm for just cooldown. And let's get right into it. I want done. I want out. This team sucks. But uh, yeah, I, I'm just kidding. You know, like it is what it is. That's just how uh, you know this raid goes, I guess. All right. So for Team Five, our goal is to deal as much damage as we can on Phase One. Cause uh, Phase Two, we won't be able to destroy the glass slippers. Uh, which still kind of sucks because you know I'm using Haran which is super invested like plus 5 on all gear she is supposed to be able to one shot it but for some reason she can't it is what it is what it is you know I, I, I still use her on like pushing for hard campaigns anyway that's her main purpose uh, not the solo raids or any raids in particular so yeah is what it is Reloading. now we're about to enter phase two qte mark here we go so we have 77 million and uh, our damage so this is like the free damage time right you can rake up as much damage as you can but after this one it's gonna be like yeah it's gonna be tough. So do you see the damage numbers? We have we are currently at a hundred million, as you can see. Didn't even <laughs> like look at that damage. What is that? It's a purple unit, a sniper unit, full charge, and that's the damage. Like what is going on? Okay, let's try it again. Ah dang, dude! Like fix it, game. How much investment do you want from me, dude? This is super annoying and as you can see, uh, the damage is getting lower and lower. 102 million currently. 
and yeah, uh, the damage number will just start to go slowly and slowly and slowly. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, I won't be surprised if we if we just I don't know if we won't be able to reach 110 million because after the after this phase, the shield phase, uh, we're done for. Because another thing that we won't be able to do is actually destroy the QTE. Like, look at that immune, immune, immune. Like, what in the world, bro? This is a purple unit. Dang, bro. 106 million. Total 3.1 billion. Not bad. Could be better, but I guess we take it. This is the damage chart, not like it matters, but you know, it is what it is. I like the solar raid because there's a lot of mechanics, but I think they need to fix the mechanics. Like some of the mechanics, like the inconsistencies and the weakness for Pete's, like for crying out loud, the weakness is electric. So electric code should be able to destroy the QTEs. Like what the heck is going on with that immune stuff? Like fix it. And I'm excited for more bosses like this but with more refined mechanics like none of this crap dude so yeah that's basically it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one goodbye for now johnny don't forget to subscribe see ya